So welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue where we left off last time and that's dealing with the form but now we're going to add a button to it. So we'll jump straight into it. So this is what we did before. We cleared the host and just created a form. We didn't really do anything. We just set some properties to it. We now got to create a button. So I've put a bit of text in there to say what we're doing. It's good to put comments in. And now we've got a new button that we're creating. You can see there we're setting the button up. Like we did before, we're setting various different properties. So you're saying where the location is, saying what the text is, what the color is. We're going to add a little bit more because you can do the mouse over tooltip. So that's like the hint that you see when you move your mouse over a button. So we're setting a new type as tooltip. And then within that, it's got a function called set tooltip. And you say what object you're setting it on and a little bit of text that's going to be your mouse over text. And finally, we're going to add the event of the button click. If I just hit enter on here, you can actually see that it's just a message box that I'm using within that. The main form has got controls and then a the method on controls is add and it's just adding the buttons to that. So that means it belongs to the main form. Without that, it won't appear because it's not got a parent. And then finally, we're doing main form show dialog. That's just going to make the form appear. So we hit play on that. And you can see there my first button. Click on it. Hello world, which you can see is the show message there. And again, if I do my mouse over, my first button. There you go, it's quite simple. So create your button, add a tool tip, create your event. And within this event, you'd normally use a function itself, um, just so you can segregate your code off and then add it to a control, show the dialogue of the form. There you go, simple as that. Not a hard one at all. So next time we're going to be concentrating on other controls such as grids, drop down list boxes. So there's loads that you can choose from. So I'll see you next time.